Oh, look at that. We have a salty roper. The slick shot show off. You're not showing off too much, are you? The bird hates this one trick. The high noon. Archangel of Wrath. Shoot your face. Oko. Create some elk stuff. Now we're going to become the Archangel of Wrath. Swing in. Swing in with our lifelink. Bang. And now we're good to go. Good luck, prowess. Good luck. Salty roper. It feels so good. Die, bird brain. Ladies and gentle mages, civilians across the multiverse, welcome back to another episode with Man on Man, and today we got a juicer for you. Before we dig into the deck, make sure to leave a like on the video. The button looks just like this. It is the lifeblood of the channel. I would really appreciate your support. Feel free to join us in the Discord below, and let's dive right in, baby. We got the highest noon. Before we get into that, let's just kind of address this. I don't see a whole lot of domain, so you say, oh, Traxa, blah, blah, blah. And you know what? We only run one to Traxa, and the, we'll get into it. But the reason why I'm running domain is because we like to be a little contrarian. We like to switch it up on this channel. I know you've kind of seen a lot of this interactions before, but not maybe in so much in this exact style of brew. So you'll notice, what are we playing against? I see some Azorius control. And then the rest, 99% of it is just basically this stupid freaking bird. This stupid slick shot show off that, oh, you can already see, I'm already slurring my speech, I'm getting so angry. And the Illuminator Virtuoso. So, these cards are so freaking annoying. How do we shut them down? Well, we got the High Noon, baby, that's right. High Noon, each player can't cast more than one spell each turn. And then, uh, later in the game, you can use the ability to deal 5 damage to any target. This card is insane. This, I don't know why I didn't... I, I mean, I, I thought it was like a pretty good card here, but I didn't know that the uh, the Virtuoso and the Slick Shot were going to be so meta. It's like, I didn't know it was going to be as crazy as it is. This deck can single-handedly win you games. You drop this down, they drop a Slick Shot show off for their turn. I guess what? You take one damage. You take one damage from the birdie. You might take two, but that would take another turn because this doesn't have haste, so you take two for the double strike. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. And what's nice about... We also have Leyline Binding. Obviously, this is a domain deck, so we have Leyline Binding that we can cast on their turn. Now let's kind of address the other the other card here. Other than High Noon, we've got the uh, Ancient Cornucopia. Now I absolutely love this thing. Now we don't have a ton of like multicolored spells. We do have Oko, and then we have Atraxa, which Atraxa is the best thing you can do here. But is this better than the Celestis? I I I, I don't know. I think so. With because of the you get a life gain every single time you cast um, something for the one time to turn, and then you also have a little bit of upside. So is this better than um? Initially, I had this. I wanted to do like an invasion of Alara type of deck here because that was the five colors that really would go for Cornucopia. But ultimately, I decided to kind of go for like the High Noon shenanigans, and this High Noon doesn't really work with the invasion of Alara. So um, I still think this is pretty good. I don't know. We're still going to give it a shot. But other than that, we've got Oko. Oko is very, very nice because it goes along with this. We have the Archangel of Wrath. The Oko becoming the Archangel is very, very relevant. So Oko also becoming the Tyrannix Rex. Now, why are we running four? That's a lot. Four Tyrannix Rex with the Atraxa. Obviously, this is just good versus control. That's really it. Um, I don't think we can really win a versus Azorius control without this thing. I just don't think we can. We don't have enough firepower. So, yeah, that's really no other way to say it. I love the Rex. I think it's better in, than most cases. So, other than that, we got the Jace. If you've seen my channel before, you know I'm a big fan of the Jace and Bramble Familiar concept. And we do like the Bramble Familiar. Obviously, we do kind of just have this kind of stuff going on. Only one Atraxa. Only one Atraxa. I don't think Atraxa is the be-all, end-all of the deck. I really don't. Most of the time, it's just going to be High Noon, and we're just shutting off these stupid Slick Shot Show Off Virtuoso decks. And it feels so good. It feels so good to just watch them squirm. They have open mana, and they go, what do I do? What do I do? I can't do anything. And that's right. We go for High Noon, and it's just, it's just wonderful. Uh, Sunfall, whatever. I think I'm just blabbling on about how much I hate this deck. But if you hate this deck, I'm going to be beating up on it a lot in this video, so stay tuned. Consider joining the channel. That helped me out as a content creator financially. Go ahead and subscribe if you have not already. And without further ado, let's get ready to vanquish some enemies. Zero, 22. Hello. All right. Um... No black for the virtue. This might be a mulligan. I'm gonna mull. Let's get something a little safer here. So we got the high noon. We'll be all right. We'll be all right here. Yeah, we'll be, we'll be fine. Very. Ugh, this is actually is pretty awkward. This is already a mount. We'll do, we'll do. No, we'll have to do this. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Let's just let's just commit to the high noon. Screw the leyland binding. The leyland binding can wait. Because most of the time, it's just 99% of the ladder is just aggro right now. So as long as we can commit to a, like a high noon, whatever. High noon. High noon. 
Now I got the Leyline Binding. We're in a little bit of a pickle here. I mean, we can hold them off for a while. This High Noon, you know, they can only cast one thing. So there's the show off. Showing off. So we got a mountain. More Leyline Bindings are good, though. So, I mean, so we got a mountain. We just want, like, the thing that's not a mountain. And they both are mountains. So, um, guess it doesn't really matter too much here, right? Doesn't really matter too much. Either way, we're still going to be kind of screwed here. So we can go for double ley line next turn. I think that's just fine. All right. All right. They can't deal too much damage with one spell. It's not like they have Super Saiyan prowess and regular prowess. Oh, okay. Well, the only bright... Okay, down, down to nine still is pretty pretty not good. All right. Oko. All right, so now we have double ley line bindings. We're going to have to use one this turn because, honestly, our own high noon... I mean, it does affect us, so... Yeah, our own High Noon will affect us, unfortunately. So, let's go for... Yeah, all right, play with fire. Oh, yeah, that is a... That's okay. We're getting a little nervous now. Binding. Show off. And we'll sub another one for this. That's fine. Alright, seven live. I'm a little nervous, though. So, that, a plot is not a cast, so that's fine. So, alright, let's do this. They can't cast it. We know they can't cast anything else. They can't cast anything else, so we don't have to worry about anything. We're taking one damage. It's fine. It's within reason. Archangel. Well, Oko, we do love you, Oko. Um. Would really like to be able to hold this up, but that is not looking like the case, huh? If they can only cast one thing, they do this. Oof. This is kind of hard. If we elite. Oh, man. This is hard. This is hard. I think if we go for Oko, this is a little... Damn, that sucks. I, I, that's, that sucks so much. I think we're just going to have to go for the Leyland Binding. So we could be cute. We could definitely be cute. Shock, yep. Yep. We could definitely be... Like I said, yeah, no, that was, that, this is the right play. We have to hold the Leyland Binding. Swift Spear. Alrighty. Just alleviate the damage we can, and hopefully the Archangel of Wrath. We need a top deck into something we can shoot. Down to three. Virtue. I think it's going to have to be Virtue by default. Yep. It sucks, though. The meta is so fast, we can't even do any of our fun stuff, which is sucky, because we go for Oko. What we want to do is go for Oko. And then we copy it with the Archangel of Wrath. Maybe we can do this now. Hello, Oko. Let's create a body. Let's create a body. We're definitely creating a body here. <laughs> Your obituary will be quite drool. Your obituary will be quite drool. Is this a cool drool? Either way, your obituary is coming. So, I think we're looking good now. Oh, baby. Now we go in for the Archangel of Wrath. Now we're safe, baby. Oh, we're so safe. Archangel of Wrath. Shoot the face. They cannot do five damage, right? You can, you can do whatever you want. We got lifelink, and now we're gonna take Oko. We're going to copy ourselves as Oko, as the Archangel of Wrath, and swing in. Oh, baby, let's go. Oh, look at that. We have a Salty Roper, the Slick Shot Show Off. You're not showing off too much, are you? The bird hates this one trick, the High Noon. Archangel of Wrath, shoot your face. Oko, create some out stuff. Now we're gonna become the Archangel of Wrath, swing in. Swing in with our lifelink, bang, and now we're good to go. Good luck, Prowess. Good luck. Oh, Salty Roper. Salty Roper. It feels so good. Die, bird brain. Mock. Hello, hello. All right, this is too slow. Yeah, we love the Rexy, but no, we could get seen by aggro way too easily here. So this looks a lot better by default. Um, man, I, it kind of hurts to get rid of the Bramble, but like, we kind of need land. I guess. I mean, our curve is so top heavy that I think we'll, we'll be okay with this, but we'll see. All right, I got the Leyline Binding. I guess we'll go for this just because we do have the non tap planes. And if they do want to get crazy on us, we do have the High Noon. Let's see, is this the birdie? 
Is this birdie.deck? It is. There's the plot. All right, cool, cool, cool. No problem. Let's go for the high noon. Once you set the high noon, the high noon is so good. The slick shot show off decks hate this one trick, the high noon. Virtuoso, definitely a pain. Yeah, I think we'll just kind of let this chill. Got a Detraxa now. That is attractive. Um, do 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 do. We just need what, like a, um, what's our missing thingy here? A forest, right? We're good. All right, pass. We don't have double white, so I can't go for one on this turn. That turn, Maybe that was a little bit of a misplay on my end, but whoopsie. I'm just so excited for the high noon. Can you blame me? So they want to cast anything, that's their whole entire turn, and then we just go for Leyland Binding. Like, the High Noon literally just shuts off this deck, and I love it. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not Leyland Binding you, no way. Nope. Nope. Do your thing. I know you got Double Strike, but, like, if this is your whole turn, I don't care. Yeah, pretty big oopsie there, because we do have, the, like, the Leyland Bindings, but... There we go. A plot is not a cast, so we do have to be uh, mindful of that. Archangel of Wrath, you love to see it. Absolutely love to see that. Alright, well, if we drop this, now we have our double white combo, so... Just trying to think how I want to play this. Do you want to... I think I do. Because next turn we can either high noon, like use the high... I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it. So we can Leyline Binding on our turn and then their turn. If they have the protection... Which is very, very possible. Like a Lauren's path or whatever. Yeah, or escape, excuse me. Alright, we still have another one. Plus, like I said, that that's not guaranteed. I think I'm pretty comfortable with doing that. They're, they only have four. If if at all. I mean, they only can have, really, four Lauren's escape. I don't think they run any other, like, protection-y type stuff other than that. So now I am sweating a little bit. You have to be a little careful here. Because... I guess we could just go for High Noon itself, but now we actually have a predicament. I guess we'll just, we might just wait until they have it. There's no way they have two Lorne's Escape, right? That'd be pretty nasty. I think we can probably just take this. I'm gonna take it. Because if we do this, they connive again. Even the Archangel of Wrath, we can't kick it twice. And then we're putting it in another weird spot. Rexy, pretty not great. Not not that great of a, of a draw here, not gonna lie. You know what? Maybe I don't even kick this. Well, we kind of have to, right? Because we don't have enough white. Alright, so we're a little starved on white, so we might as well kick it. So we can't go for Leyland Binding. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. You know what? I'm actually... I might not even shoot you, because... I mean, they just do anything. They do anything. They just connive it. I might just shoot that in the face. Because if they connive, two damage is just going to help their, their case here. I did oh, okay, well. That is annoying. Just just knowing they had another Lauren's escape is definitely annoying. But shooting in the face uh, definitely seemed to be the best play here. But they are burning themselves out. Like, I mean, this deck does not run that much, um, like, protection. I mean, it's just, it's just the Forlorn's Escape, right? Like, what else? I mean, I guess there's that other card that gives... I guess they do. They can, they can run a lot of protection, actually. Here it is! Alright, so this is their one. This is their one play. It does have Menace, so we can't block, which is a little uh, annoying. So I am... I, this is actually a pretty close. It's a pretty close game here. But you see how out of hand it could get... If we didn't have this High Noon, it could get absolutely insane. Yeah, this is definitely scary. What I need an, uh, if I can get an untapped land here, a virtue of persistence. See, this is rough. We gotta swing and take our life link here. So now we mm, this is so awful. If I had another land, if I have one more untapped land, we can go for high noon and the leyline binding. Because this is an ability. This is rough. I think we're gonna have to risk it. Do they have another, like, another one? 
Ooh, this is bad. We just lose then, right? So we, we lose. So we if they have a protection spell, we lose. I'm committing to it. We can hold up behind him, but this is it's too risky, man. Okay, I was about to say, thank God. Alright. Looking good, we get rid of the virtuoso. I was about to say we're going all in on that play because I can't I can't fathom they just have like a, too much protection here. They're pretty aggro. Alright, this is a lot better. Much better situation. Alright. Kind of breathe a little bit. Another high noon. Well, let's swing in here. We're still after some lands. I guess we might as well virtue this. There's no world. There's no world where they can have a, uh, whatchamacallit. I doubt they have a protection spell. Because they would have used it on the virtuoso. So, I think we'll just kind of do this. Sure. And now we're looking in a much better position. So they get a whopping one, <laughs> like one spell each turn. I mean, it's so wonderful. They get one, yeah, you can go ahead and plot all your stuff, your demonic ruckus. You can plot whatever you want. You can only cast it one time, baby. And we draw another Rexy, which is pretty gross. Not gonna lie, don't like seeing that. Love this versus control. But versus aggro, which is a lot more common, we're just going to have to hold off here. So, I think we're still looking okay. 17 life. We have the high noon. We can use the high noon to just ping their guy for 5 damage. We don't need to. We don't need to. A little, a little more uncomfortable than it should have been, but we got it done. The Great Combino. Okay, what a name here. Alright, let's go ahead and keep this. Looks pretty good to me. Um, yeah, we're just going to rock with it. Definitely want to get the spars down so we can go for the um, the high noon. And there we go. We got our first aggro player. All right. Well, high noon is actually very, very nice. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the Zyatoris Proving Ground. Just go for the Leyland Binding. I know that the high noon... The high noon actually isn't that amazing early on. It's actually kind of better like on turn two or three. I know it seems a little silly just because we do have the high noon. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. Still kind of like figuring out how to play the high noon like totally optimally. But... I think this is definitely the most optimal move. Now, see, not because they go for the slick shot. I mean, if they play down the slick Okay, that's it. That's it. So that's your turn. That is so much better than what it could have been. Okay, cool. Oh, man. I, what I love about the Cornucopia is that, obviously, if you have a Leyland Binding, you should be able to play it on their turn, which is nice. But right now, it's fine. Getting a little sweaty. Obviously, we just play down the tracks and we're fine. But do you see, like, how much damage they can actually output here? Uh, yeah, that is that is the most that they can do for one spell. But like I said, just one spell, and now we're good. Now we're good. With the high noon, we don't have to worry about it. Um, I'm gonna drop this. And the, the, what's so insane about the high noon is it actually can just ping the opponent for five damage, but we can wait until the after they swing. Yep, this is fine. So come on, your whole turn. Like that's fine. <laughs> because without the high noon, we're dead. Like we would have already lost. So let's go for the high noon, alleviate some damage here. Yeah, now they can, you know, whatever. It's no longer on the battlefield, so now they can do whatever. But by this time, it's already too late. Like, I have 10 life. Yeah, play your creatures now. Yep, sure, do whatever you want. Pretty easy money. Ooh, Archangel. So here's the thing. Um, I think if we go for Archangel... Not that Archangel, but if we go for this Archangel... Um, kick it one time. We have enough for another high noon. I think that's actually better, maybe? So let's go for this. Yep. Kick it one time. And then we'll have two mana left over. <laughs> Are you sure you want to gain that? Yes, I am very sure I want to gain that life versus mono red. Or Rakdos, technically. But let's go ahead and hit the, the picnic robber. They could pump it, but like... Feels like they might. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Even that's really not the end of the world. And then we drop another high noon. Okay. Also, ha so again, now the high noon's back up. One spell. You got one spell, buddy. Even if they did have like another like pump spell, we're still fine. And we have lifelink. I don't know. Maybe should I should I just drop the Traxa? I think because they had monstrous rage, that play looks really really bad. But Switcher, there you go. That's your play. <laughs> I love high noon so much. There's another high noon. All right, but now we're going to go 
a Traxa Grand Unifier, and of course I will take that action. And now with the Cornucopia, we gain four life. Alright, I think we're just gonna go for Leyline Binding. Uh well that's an enchantment. Maybe the virtue persistence. I see them I see them singing and dancing in the background there. Uh they probably know that it's over. I guess we'll take the uh, the, the planes. Um The Rex. Should I take the Rex or the Bramble? I don't know. Whatever. <laughs> Alright, so they, they they've decided they've had um they most likely have had enough. That's okay. Let's go ahead and do this. We're back up to 20 life. We got the, the grand uh unifier. Uh yeah, let's go. Ahead. Cheers to you, my friend. A cheers to you. Oh, you got 20 life. I got an Atraxa, and you can cast one spell. Highly doubt you're going to be able to take this away, my friend. Don't even think even a... Yeah, not even a Monstrous Rage will save you here. The Great Cabino. Com Cabino. Uh, Cell Sword. I don't. I just don't think that's gonna be enough. Let's go. Good game. Edu, hello. All right. So this is mm, a little floody. Like, what do we want to do here? Guess we'll keep. <laughs> might, might, um, might regret this, but it's okay. Network disruptor. All right. So we're gonna kind of have to try and speed this up. Jace, well, we got the Jace and the Bramble combo, so we absolutely love that. Okay, I think we'll, we'll be fine. We go for the Cornucopia, we go for the Jace, we're fine. They're not that fast, right? Yeah, okay, we're looking good here. Alright, Cornucopia. If they counter it, it is what it is. We don't, like, real... Okay, well, we're good. Now there's nothing to worry about. Leyline Binding. High-speed hover bike. holy crap. Okay. Do I go for the Leland Binding? Let's just wait and see what they do here. They might have that Prosperous Thiefy thingy. The, the Ninjutsu. I think I might want to. Like, this deck is basically trying to kill me as fast as possible, right? Let's try it out. They've got a counter. It is what it is. Let's just go for it. Yeah, this is fine. I mean, if they have no interaction, no counter spells, like this is this is fine with me. So, um, what are we scared of? Make disappear, right? So if I do this, they can't even make disappear me. They would actually need to sacrifice it. So I don't think there's any like marginal difference. Let's just do this. Yep. We get it to go. This is looking phenomenal, Jace. Do your thing, baby. All right. And yeah, no, we're definitely not casting this Bramble. So this is kind of nice. I mean, another high speed hover bike, that's fine. Let's see if they want to go after Jace, though. I don't really mind if they do, right? I don't really mind. Zoetic Glyph, alright. Let's see if they waste, I mean, waste a swing on Jace. Jace goes bye bye. Sorry, Jace. One, two, three, four, five, six. Not enough to go in for another Bramble. So, I think we'll just wait on you. I mean, we're no doubt going for this. So, let's just do this now. Hopefully, they, yeah, yeah, what am I thinking here? This is plotted. They don't, they, Spell Pierce is no good. Okay, so that sucks a lot. Um, do you want to go for High Noon or Leyline Binding? Oh, God, we kind of brick here. That is pretty rough. Um... Mm, this is pretty rough. Do you want to go for High Noon or... I think we're just going to have to go for Leyland Binding. Damn, that's kind of rough here. Do we want to let him discover three? Yeah, this is actually pretty hard. I guess we'll let him discover three. We do have a Virtue still. But because we brick there... Oh, that's a nasty brick. Moon Circuit Hacker. Okay. I guess we'll just kind of pick you off. Fading hope, now we lose our virtue. Oof, okay. We still have another Bramble, though. Damn, alright, so the gr let the grind begin. This is gonna be a grindy one. Do they have a counter? I don't know. 
Maybe they try to find one. Because right now we can still go for Bramble. Do I want to get this down even is the question. Alright, let's go for Fetch Quest. A little scary here. Alright, we get it to go. We can't break twice, right? There we go, baby. There's our Rexy. Sexy Rexy. Hello. Hello, Sexy Rexy. And this is going to be a huge problem for them. They can't counter it even if they do bounce it. <laughs> they give us a good game. Ha! This is why I love the Rex, man. Absolutely love that Rex. Another high-speed hover bike. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Oh, wow. They just scoop it up, too. Wow. Yeah, the Rex wins games. And that's why I love it. Rutas. Hello. All right, we're going to keep this because I have the high noon. So I I'm just going to keep it. A little risky. But if we are playing against aggro... We can go for High Noon, and if we're playing against Control, we got Tyrannix Rex, so... Eh, whatever. Honestly, that's the only two things I really face on the ladder anymore, it feels like. Just aggro, and then... <laughs> control, so... Leland Binding, yeah, we're looking alright here. Let's go ahead and make a... Um, yep. Proving Ground. Well, let us have the Leland Binding. Yeah, we're fine. I think we're absolutely fine. So we go for the Lightning Binding this turn and then just set up the High Noon. Once we set up the High Noon, they really start to squirm. Alright, Charming Scoundrel. If they go for the Wicked Roll, I might just lay that. No, okay, discard a card, draw a card. That's fine. I don't think I'm going to waste my Lightning Binding on a 1 1. Nah, 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 nah. No, 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 we're fine with that. Well, no. No, that's, that's, too, that's too crazy. Come on. Cornucopia. There we go, baby. So I think we just get you down and just drop the high noon. That's right. Now they... Oh my gosh, it's so nice. It's so nice. Especially the cornucopia with the leyline binding. It's pretty much like the nuts, man. Pretty much the nuts. It's nuts and it's the nuts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, like... Okay, you get one turn. I know they can burn us on the other end, but usually that's just not how it works. Because they want to have prowess. And like I said, they just dropped this little slick shot. Oh, you're so cute, little slick shot. You're so cute. Alright, now we go for Cornucopia, and we still have the Leyland Binding that we can play with the Cornucopia. Whoa, that little slick show off. You're so cute. One power, you're so cute. And play, yeah, I mean, that sucks, but like I said, though, they don't compound all their damage. They can play with fire, but again, next turn, you get a whopping one spell you can cast, man. A whopping one. And I have Leyland Binding, so... Monstrous Rage on the Slick Shot. Oh, Slick Shot, you're so cute. Leyline Binding. Of course I'm going to gain the life. Leyline Binding to the Slick Shot. Oh my goodness. Hey, you know what? Yeah, you know. <laughs> hey. Sorry about you. Rodrigo. Hello. All right. So, do, do, do. how do we like this? Do we like this? Seems reasonable enough. Not like optimal or crazy, but it seems okay enough. A lot of times, I don't even really like... Like, Leyland Binding, if it's just like a turn... Um, if it's just like a, a two-drop on turn two, like, that's also usable. I've made that mistake, just kind of like freaking out, like, just way too early. Because we can just do this, and then we have the Leyland Binding. Yeah, like, it's it's damn near the same thing. It doesn't cost one, but it doesn't need to. Alright, what are we playing against here, Rodrigo? Thalia. Okay, you know what? That's a pain in the ass. <laughs> look at me. Look at me talk about it. And then now we get screwed by it, so... I guess if this was another, uh, whatchamacallit. If it was, like, a Jetmere's Garden, like, we'd still be screwed in a way, though, right? Yeah, this puts us in a pretty weird spot. I think we're gonna have to do this. If we get down, uh, the Garden, this doesn't add anything, right? We still need a Swamp. Can't go for Cornucopia. Yeah, this- oh man, this style is actually a huge pain. I don't think we can just play nothing. So, okay. Wow, look at me. Look at me talking about Leyland Binding. Oh, it's usually fine. Not- oh, it's only not fine if you have a Thalia here, so... Semit, okay, I think... I think we're just gonna go for Leyland Binding on the Semit. Yeah, I think so. The Thalia is annoying, but having them draw is annoying as well. And plus, we can shoot the Thalia with this. I think this is fine. It's not like we have Sunfall that we could... Yeah, no, we're fine. Okay. Cornucopia. 
pass. Archangel of Wrath and my little Rexy are not going to be taxed by Thalia, so that's nice. Human! Oh, I need Pakal. Okay, so now I'm a little scared. Okay, hold on. Well, do we want to hit Pakal twice with the Archangel of Wrath? I think I do. High Noon's pretty good. High Noon's pretty good, but I think I just have to get rid of the Onion Pakal, like, right now. So, I'm assuming I can, right? So, white, white, whatever, whatever. This can give me black, and then you can give me red. Alright, kick, kick. Take action, I'm sure I would like some more life against this deck. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna have to hit you twice. It kind of sucks, that three toughness. Very, very awkward, but... I think we're just gonna have to, right? If I had like a sweeper, I mean, I really wouldn't care, but we don't, so this thing can get out of hand. Samut! Alright. I'm a little nervous about Naganjo. Never mind. Okay, thank god. Don't have to worry about Naganjo now. Jace! I love you, Jace. Alright, let's go ahead and drop you. Let's go for Jace first, obviously, because I don't really want to get high nooned on myself, so. And here's the thing, though. I might even... I could just plot you. I don't think it's really that great, right? Do I'm going to just draw a card, discard a card? I could just cast it, so I guess I don't have to plot it. Let's just draw a card, discard a card. See if we can just get, like, a sweeper or something. Oh, an Archangel is probably going to take the cake. Because they, can, I don't think they're really looking to storm, right? Like, what can they, like... I think we're just better off doing this. Then I hold still? I think I'm going to hold still. Got another Archangel of Wrath and a Rexy. I think we're fine. No need to panic. If they go over double map on this, that kind of sucks. Helen. I'm feeling pretty comfortable, but not comfy. If that makes any sense. Helen, sure. Gain life. So they're going nice and wide, which is fine. What are we the most afraid of, I suppose? Yeah, they're not swinging. Okay, we're looking good here. Land. We're not doing any plot, and I do like this Chase Reawakened. It just sometimes does feel a little awkward, because we're not all in on the, the plot strategy, but... Always good, just kind of just get rid of some icky lands that we don't need. I think it's probably just better off to go for the Archangel of Wrath. We could just drop this and hope for a Traxa, but, like, that seems a little... Seems a little meh. I think we might as well just do this. Kick it, kick it, baby. Archangels. And what are we gonna hit? I, wanna hit Th I don't think we really care that much about Thalia at this point. Like, I just don't think we do. Maybe we just hit you twice. Yeah, I think so. Sure. Let's just stay back. I mean, honestly, like, Jace? We get the minus six on Jace. I've never done that before. <laughs> oh, Rodrigo, come on. I'm just about to go for Jace. You're not going to want me to do that? Kind of shitty, but okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and plot it now. Now that we got the Bramble familiar. Let's just plot it. Don't think Rodrigo is with us any longer, unfortunately, but we're still gonna go for it. We're still gonna have our fun. And then we're gonna go for the minus six. Oh, baby! There we go. You know what? I really wanted to get the ultimate on Jace, but... It is what it is. Benzu, hello! Alright, so we got our little high noon. We got a white... Yeah, we're fine. We can rock with it. Let's go in for you, because you have the white source. Yep. And we're on the play. Be a little slow, it's fine. Tis fine. This is all we see anymore. Oh, there you go. There you go. Demonic Ruckus. Alright. Well, can't go in for our lovely High Noon this turn, so that sucks. But as long as we get into it in general, it's usually game over. There you go, <laughs> so go. Go ahead. Go ahead, Mono Red. Go ahead, Prowess. Your little slick shot show off is not going to be showing off too much, man. I promise you. High Noon. Hi there! Basically just like a one-card killer. Yeah. 
I'm sorry. It's true. We got the high noon up. So the slick shot show off. You're so cute. Slick shot show off. You're so cute. Yeah, I know they can plot, so they can kind of work around that way with like the high noon to plot. But like I said, though, it, it's um, it's a hard knocks life if you're the uh, the little cute little slick shot. So let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and do this. Even if they did have like a, a crazy buff spell, I think we're still sitting fine. Um, I think we're sitting okay. I think we want to kind of ramp up to the Archangel of Wrath. Like I said, there's just no way they can really hang with this, right? They drop the sl the show off and like. That's literally their turn. That's literally their turn. Oh, it's so great. Oh, it's so wonderful. It's it's just so wonderful. Um, I mean, you can... Let's just go for the familiar. If they want to burn it... I mean, it's not great here, but we kind of do need a little bit of mana. They burn it. They don't burn my face. They burn the creature or whatever. Save a little bit on that. I do like Rexy. Rexy's really, really nice. But like I said, I mean, I think that we're pretty much good. Play with fire. I think the way that domain plays is like domain. We're we're fine with with high noon and it's like our early stuff. Leyline binding. I think we can kind of ward off aggro. So then it just becomes like con good riddance. Volley of this. Volley of this. Hello. All right. Let's go ahead and keep this. Got our little high noon. So we'll be all right. Of course, obviously we could get uh we can get stomped out pretty quickly, but. Nowadays, we don't even really have to play things on curve as much because because we got the high noon. And plus, prowess the way that Mono Red nowadays is playing with that slick shot, they don't even really care to play things on curve. They more like do like like set up, and then their turn four is like so insanely, devastatingly, brutally explosive. That's just kind of how it works there. So, yep, it's fine. Do your worst, Shrimp Scampi. Shrimp, shrimp Scampi sounds amazing right now. I don't think I've had Shrimp Scampi in how long, my goodness. Alright, Infantry, I think, um... I think we'll... Yeah, this is fine. I think we'll just take this. Yeah, whatever. And then we'll take... We'll do the, uh, the Lilan Binding on the Infantry. Yeah, I mean, you just... We have Sunfall, but I still want to... I want to get this down because even if they monstrous rage this, like it's still, it's still not pleasant. Even though obviously we're going in for this lovely, lovely high noon, high noon baby. All right. So you have to be kind of note. Yeah, we have we have two white. We're good. All right. So now we're looking good. You get one play. So felonous rage. Yeah. I mean that's actually that actually is probably the most uh, efficient probably is the most efficient thing they can do, especially if they blow themselves up and create the 2-2. Two -two. It's pretty unfortunate, but like I said, we're still slowing them down to a rate that is just like a... Ooh. Oh, wow, that's nice. Let's do this. Virtue of Persistence. Don't think they can give this up to 4 toughness, right? But they, oh, they could actually just protect it. That actually is something I've seen from Boros, but... Not at this point. Yeah, they can't. Yeah, they can't target me. I think it's just like over, right? Like look at this. It's so beautiful. High noon. You get one card, man. You get you get one card per turn. Like how great is that? You just literally tell aggro, hey, you just can't play. It's so great. Drop this. Drop this. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're looking good here. Now I have to start slowing down my uh, my my landfall, sir. Ooh, Mirix, okay. I think we can still survive that, though. And then Archangel of Wrath. Do we want to go for Archangel of Wrath? There's only one thing in the graveyard, so I don't think this is really that great. I think we're probably just going to go for the Archangel of Wrath. Yeah, let's kick it old school, baby. Kick, kick. Ancient Cornucopia activates. Of course, I'm not going to even think twice about it. Let's go ahead and, hey, one life is one life, baby. And this is a total of four, so bang, bang. And I think they probably know that they're in deep, deep dog shit. It's so fun watching aggro squirm. Yeah, uh, infantry. Yeah, that's your only play, baby. Alright, I think we're just gonna go in for you. Gain a whole whopping one life, but that's okay. Bang! That that life gain is so clutch, man. Plus, obviously, we have a Traxxas, so I mean, I'm swinging in, man. 
I'm at 27 life. You can cast one spell. Do I drop this? I guess. I don't have anything that would like discard, like clean my hand out, right? Do I? Oh, I'm trying to think. I might, I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Five damage, yeah, I'm almost to 20. I'm almost to 20. You almost got me. Alright, give me my shrimp scampi here. Another high noon. Um, not game exactly. So we'll go into the Bramble Familiar. Bramble, do your thing. Of course I'll gain some more life. And there- Ooh, there we go! t Rexy. I think Rexy's actually better here. Um, is it better? Let's just go for the- Let's just go for the- Eight. No, it's actually not lethal. Alright, we'll just go for a Traxa. We'll go for a Traxa. A Traxa is better for uh, this, so whatever. Um, I think I want a. Yeah, whatever. I still got more stuff to click? Oh my god. Oh my god. It's just so fun. It's just so fun beating up Mono Red. 